my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new review and today i'm here to review black lightning season three episode 10 y'all know they have these long titles the book of markovia chapter one blessings and curses reborn y'all know what time it is it's time for the geek gal oh my god black lightning in these titles but yes this is the first episode of Black Lightning back from Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, some quick Black Lightning news. I don't know if you guys saw this casting news, but Henderson has been um, let go from his, his contract or his contract wasn't renewed for the next season because Black Lightning has been renewed. All the CW superhero shows have been uh, picked up for um, another season except Arrow, of course, because this is its final season because uh, Stephen ain't want to do it anymore. But yes, um, so Black Lightning is getting a fourth season, but Henderson will not be returning. Uh, he tweeted this out on his Twitter account. Um, so we don't know if he's just like leaving Freeland, maybe to go to another city. Maybe he'll pop up in Metropolis or he'll pop up in National City um, or, you know, on Legends. That we don't know. Uh, we don't know if he's going to be killed off. We just we just know that he won't be on Black Lightning season four. So if you feel some type of way about that, you're more than welcome, you know, go express yourself to um, the people at the CW and at Black Lightning. But he will not be um, going forward on season four, at least. But he did film his last day, according to his uh, actual Twitter account. So <sighs> we're back from crisis. This is starting a new chapter on Black Lightning. Um, I wish more people watched the show. That's why, I mean, I watched it and I would like on and off again review it, but I definitely want to get those ratings up and bring some more attention if I can at it if, if I had any you know part in any of it if I could I thought maybe I'll just you know uh, make sure I get it out on my channel that I I really do like this show it is um good and it does have some really good actors on it um and the acting has improved for some that weren't so great for the first uh season but I really do uh like the show and do support it so i didn't want to put it on the channel and speaking of uh getting some views if i could i just want to thank everyone i want to thank you so much i did reach the goal for january 2020 my goal was to um before the new year was to get to 500 that didn't happen so i said maybe i can do it before the end of january 2020 and here we are and i could not do it without you guys and your your support and your views and your your shares and your likes and your your follows the subscriptions <laughs> all of that means so much to me you have no idea and so i did get to um 500 subscribers and I'm, i know that me doing the um live discussions with uh, matthew haynes had a lot to do with that so i um appreciate him for that i already let him know and of course the last live that i did was with featuring Trey with Mar from Married to the Real. I'll make sure I have a link um, in the description box for that. There's also a link in my last video, the review for Batwoman for that as well. And also I do have some of my own merchandise, um, some t-shirts and, and products that I created over on Teespring. So just go to www.teespring.com slash biggirlgeeky. You can check that out. And if you like anything, I hope you buy it. hope you appreciate it. It's really cheap, um, priced, I think. So please do and check that out and thank you to some people that actually did um buy some stuff so i was very shocked about that so i appreciate that and uh send me some pictures with you with your things and that'd be great on all my social media you guys already know big girl geek so on to the episode <sighs> it started off with we saw jefferson um like trying to find gamby and he's letting him know he's like oh man i went to this alternate um reality he was trying to like he quickly recap crisis but didn't get too deep into it um, he mentioned the Flash and who, how he met these heroes and he said Gamby Superman is real. Um, so they apparently did not have a Superman on their Earth. Um, it was just like a comic that they, I guess, like Superman was just a comic book that they they read or whatever. And um, Jen was stuck in her, like, in between worlds and she got out of it. They, Her and um, Jefferson then was telling Gamby that, you know, all the Earths merged into this one Earth and uh, and that's how it is. And um, we saw some some big stuff happen. We saw, um, you know, Thunder. I call her Thunder, even though she's like, she's got this new persona. Um, taking the kids out, rescuing the kids and all that. And there was still some tension between her and Jefferson. And they had a real talk where she's like, you need to trust me. You need. I know what I'm doing. Yes, I've made mistakes. I trust that I will learn from those mistakes and I will do the best that I can to help these uh, kids. And um, I'm hoping by the end of... When they did get those people out, those children out, that 
this is the end of their beef. Um, but Jefferson did make some good points. He's like, you have been stealing these the drug money, yes, but you've been using it, and you know, for, you bought this loft, you got this house with drugs, stolen drug money. So I mean, they both have some valid points, but I think they pieced it up enough that I hope we don't have to see this um, be a problem with them in the future. Uh, Jen was helping Brandon. They got caught, but she had an like um, a power dampening um, neck. Uh, necklace I don't even know what you call it like collar on <laughs> collar is the word um kind of similar to what they do in the flash but she was still able to break through that with her powers and free her and Brandon and her and Brandon had a moment where they both were using their powers which was really pretty cool and I really did like that scene um the main thing really though that I took away from this besides like Odell getting away and everything and him using holograms and him wanting to kill Jen and they're gonna have a whole big thing and how she wants to kill Odell I'm kind of tired of Odell um I'm tired of Odell and Tobias. I kind of wish they would just bring someone new in, a new villain. I'm just kind of over all of them. I'm tired of Markovia's. I'm tired of all that. But the big takeaway is that Jen and um, saw um, Lynn high, but didn't know what she was seeing. But then Jefferson realized that she's now addicted to green light. And, and she kind of like moved her stuff out. And we don't know where she is really. Or Jefferson doesn't really know who she is. And that whole scene she was really well acted kudos to her um she is addicted to green light and at least now the family will know and then they'll be in a better position to help we have that meta that is um he has this relationship with technology he can hack technology um is he a meta from the comics is because somebody let me know i'm not sure who he is they call him tc but i can't i don't know why it's not ringing any bells for me um and he was asking me can he get a suit and then gamby was like maybe later so i'm like all right he's gonna join the team we're gonna have a team black lightning we're gonna follow that cw cw formula of a team black lightning but i'm like that's cute that tc's there but when are we gonna get static i need static shock Please. But it was a, it was a good episode. I really did enjoy it. I give it eight out of ten. Um, the stuff with Lynn was to me the highlight of the episode, besides the the use of the powers. Um, and I'm just really interested with what they're going to do with Henderson. I have a feeling that they're probably going to kill him now that he's no longer going to be on the show. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, I can't wait to discuss with you. Until next video, I'm out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.